Hi friends, so we are gonna get started with our last art project for um, the fall two session um, of art in the afternoon. And we are going to create a sunset silhouette picture for winter time. Um, so you are going to want to get your watercolors, one um, sheet of your watercolor paper that we sent home with you. And um, we're going to, it's kind of a two part project. So we're gonna start with our watercolor. We're gonna uh, let that, set that aside to let it dry and then we'll work on the silhouette part. But. So friends, um, you got a new watercolor set. I believe there's eight colors in it. So we're used to having that big watercolor set at the rec center. Uh, so you can do some mixing of your watercolor, okay? To create all the different colors that you want. Um, but the big thing that we want to do is we are gonna be talking about the sunset. So when the sun sets, and we have seen the most gorgeous sunsets here at Lazelle lately. Um, wintertime sunsets especially are just so incredible. Um, we're just kind of lucky because we're here at around 5, 30, 6 o'clock and when we can see that how the sun is setting, it's so beautiful. So it gets pretty dark fairly early. So the top part of our picture is going to be our darker shades and then it's going to lighten up as it goes down into our sunset, into our oranges and our reds and our yellows of the sun, okay? But let's start out qu real quick talking about our wonderful watercolor palettes and how we're using our brushes to get our brush nice and wet and then we get the color that we're choosing nice and wet. And I'm gonna start with my darker colors. I'm gonna start up here at the top. So I'm gonna start with my blues up here at the very top of my paper and just really brush that blue on. And if you are wanting to make your watercolor darker, the best thing to do, my friends, is to get a lot of paint first and get it on that paper. And then as we want to lighten it up, we just soak our brush in the water you don't get any more paint on your brush. You just use that water to pull the colors down, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down to kind of lighten it up, okay? So we think about how we have those dark colors in our sunset. And you guys wanna to try to get clear over to the edges of your paper. So we have our darker color up top. Clear to the edges, okay? And then get some water to pull that color down to kind of lighten it up. And then usually it goes into some really beautiful purples, doesn't it? So you can get some purples on your watercolor palette. And you can even, in the lid of your palette, mix some of your reds and uh, your purples and your blues together if you want to kind of get that mixture. Okay, so we've got our purples. And the purples usually blend into our pinks and our reds of the sunset, okay? So we can start picking up some red and to mix your purples and your reds or to mix your reds and really lighten it up to make your pinks, you can mix it right in with that purple there. Mix it right in. You get some more water to blend it up together. Okay. And then it's gonna start going into your beautiful bright oranges. darker than I expected. So I'm gonna find a different orange here. It's a little bit lighter. There we go. There's some orange. It's kind of thick on the paper. So I go back and get some water to 
blend it down and pull it down. You can even pick some of those oranges up. Blend it up, blend it down. All right, friends. You keep on going and trying to get to the edges. I didn't do a very good job of getting onto the edge of my paper here. All right, and then we get down into, okay, I'm gonna mix some more red and orange together. More red and orange. And let's get some yellows going here, love bugs. Hey, darlings. And we want to make sure. We want to make sure that we get our color as close to the bottom as possible. Because we're going to add our silhouette down there. We're actually going to do some gluing and cutting with some black paper to create the silhouette. So it's going to cover up the bottom part of our paper, but not all of it. So we just want to make sure that we don't have any like super exposed white spaces like I have here. Let's go back up with your blues. Kind of fill that in. Okay, there's our beautiful sunset. So I'm going to set this aside. We'll let that dry. If you guys have hair dryers, you know we always use our hair dryers at the rec center, don't we, to dry our stuff. We're gonna let that air dry. So next we're gonna grab our black construction paper, okay? And we're gonna draw what we want the silhouette, so basically what we see in the distance to be um, in our sunset. So I have gone ahead, and it's kind of hard, I'm not sure how well you can see it. I already went ahead and drew with a pencil. Um, I kind of messed up some of the places, but that's okay because we're going to be cutting these out and then we can flip it over. Um, but I, I drew a pine tree and a snow person and a house. And so now I'm going to go over it with white crayon so I can see it a little bit better. And you can see it. But my pine tree is super simple. Super simple triangular shape pine tree. And I just went off the side of... It doesn't have to be a full pine tree. And then I have my horizon line here. I'm just going over with white, so hopefully that's showing up so you guys can see. And I drew my snowman, my snow person. And it's leading up to the front door of my house. And I'm just drawing the roof and the sides of the house. It doesn't have to be a lot of detail because it's just basically going to be the shadow the darkened silhouette shadow of our space and then I get my scissors out friends and I cut along and I cut out my shapes here and if this is kind of like, I'm not sure I'm understanding, it's okay if you mess up. I sent along a couple pieces of black paper, I think, love bugs. So I'm cutting along. Cutting out. I'm cutting around my snowman. I'm trying to keep the shape of it, okay? So I'm trying to... I don't want too much of a of a lip. I want this to look round like a snow person. Cutting along up to the the house here. And the roof. Down the other side of the roof. Silhouette. 
if I flip it over, there it is in black without any of the white smudges on it. Now, what I'm going to do is after my watercolor paper dries, I will get out my glue stick and I will glue my silhouette right onto the background of my uh, sunset. Get this in, sorry, I don't think that's in quite, in quite in perspective here. So there we go. So there it is. All right, so I'll get out my glue stick and I will glue my silhouette onto the background of my sunset. And then friends, you can use your white crayon again to add some stars if you want. Um, if you have a white marker, that would be really great. Or if you have any white paint that you can put on a paintbrush to kind of make stars, that's always kind of fun. Um, so there you go, lovey. So simple, so easy. I can't wait. I bet the watercolor sunsets are gonna be just gorgeous, as beautiful as the ones we have here at the rec center. So that is that, friends. That's our final um, art project. Get my glue stick here out and I'm gonna start gluing it on. And my paper needs to dry up a little bit. But there you have it, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Your little silhouette with your watercolor um, on a winter night. So enjoy, friends. Oh, just so you know, obviously I did a tree and a snowman and a house. You can do whatever you want. You can do a bunch of trees. You can do mountains. Um, you could do birds flying. I mean, there's so many things you can do. So please don't limit yourself to Miss Suzanne's imagination. You have your own amazing imaginations. You could add black um, little... Uh, 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 birds up here so simple just real quick if you just draw or cut out like almost like little check marks like the top part of a of a heart a little bit so look at that you could add little flower or little uh, little flying um, birds you could add so much so much. Um, if you wanted to make mountaintops, yeah, so many different things. So enjoy, have fun with this, friends. And if you think of it, have your parents take pictures and send them to me because I want to see the finished product. So enjoy, friends. Have a great rest of your day.